um, pretty sweet way to come into camp for you. Yeah, it's been good. Um, club football has been ideal for me this is um, the last few months, so it's been really good. But I've been really looking forward to coming into camp. It's a nice break away from um, club football. I got home for a few days too, so it was nice. But now for sure it's been really nice coming in to see the girls. I've literally just woke up this morning and seen them. So I've only seen them about 20 minutes ago. But no, a good 10 days ahead, hopefully so. And just on that run of like good like form, what is it do you feel that you've kind of hit that's helped you? You know, is it just getting that consistent training and game time? Is it the fact that Liverpool themselves have been absolutely firing in all fronts this season? Yeah, for sure. Liverpool, the team has been brilliant all season. Um, I feel like it helps. Like, Beardy has a, a lot of confidence in me. Um, the training has been brilliant, and I feel like the attention to detail has been very good. A lot of IDP stuff, with, like shooting and that, at the end of sessions on what kind of way we're going to deal with each goalkeeper, each club we play. Um, and I just feel like when you're training week in, week out, trying to get back to how you were before you were injured. You get in a lot of scenarios maybe that you would in a game day. So it's constantly trying to like keep running 1v1, get my confidence back. Even if I lose it, it's training, it's okay. Try it. Like I feel like training's been a really good, I guess, situation for to put me in since coming back from injury. Because we have a lot of good players in that team. So I feel like when we're playing and training, um, it sometimes is just as good as the match day, so, yeah. And then you said about Matt Beard there and the attention to detail. What is it that makes him such a great manager besides that? Obviously, he won every single manager of the year, beating out the likes of Emma Hayes, who yeah. won the entire title. But anytime you talk to anyone about him, he just seems to be, like, up there in terms of their estimation. I guess take away the whole football aspect. He's a very good dad. He's a very, like father figure I came over at a young age and he was he was great for me um, and he's just a good person genuine like you know where you stand which I feel like is very important in football um, he's as I said he's very family orientated similar to a lot of the girls in the team and um, he has his kids around at all the games his wife like it's a really nice atmosphere around the club and I feel like if you're young if you're old like everybody feels a part of it and he's very good at creating a culture. And of course, his, um, his football ability is pretty good, as you can see. We've done well this season. He has good coaching staff in there. Every one of his staff get on and all the players get on. Like, I haven't seen a team, I haven't been involved in a team where everybody, you could sit with anybody for coffee, staff or players, and you think, this is all right. Yeah, so I guess um, creating the culture is very big. And then he has the football brain in that. So it's just when, when we actually listen and do it, do what we're supposed to be doing, it works, yeah. yeah. Well, it was definitely working this season for you guys, like, incredibly impressive the way you went on. In terms of the Sweden games, how are you feeling going into them? Do you know, nobody's actually asked me about the Sweden games <laughs> since I've come in here. Uh, no, I'm looking forward to it. Listen, we know that they're a top team. They've done great against England recently enough too. Um, so we know what to expect. We've played Sweden before. I feel like they're a different team now. They're quite aggressive now. Um, and very forward thinking, which we'll be aware of. Listen, we haven't went into any analysis details or anything yet as we've just arrived, but um, we'll have the crowd behind us. We believe in our ability and we know what we're going to bring to the table. Um, and yeah, it's an exciting time. What are you looking to show Eileen over the next couple of days? That, that I can, um, that I'm back to the only am before injury, feeling confident, I can score. And I guess, um, just that I'm back enjoying it again. It's nice being back. I was just saying, like, you don't realise how grateful you are until you're taken away from football for a wee while. Like, it's really nice being back. I'm playing with a smile on my face. Um, I'm really enjoying it. My confidence is back. So, um, life's quite good right now, yeah. <laughs> I can't complain. You can kind of sense that often. You seem a lot more relaxed and just kind of happy, as you were saying. Yeah, listen, Ilo's been great. It's really nice being in with Ilo. Um, the staff are great in here. And I feel like, I feel like, as I said over there, I'm at ease coming back in. I feel like I can be myself. Um, and yes, yeah, it's, it's just really nice to be a part of it again. Uh, yeah, how was last summer for you? Like, did, did it take a while to process the disappointment of missing out on the World Cup? Do 
you know, a lot of people ask me that and I don't think I was that disappointed, which is maybe strange in other people's eyes, but I'm very much, I believe that what's for me won't pass me. I wasn't supposed to go to that World Cup. I wasn't ready. Um, and I'm okay with that. I had a really nice summer. I feel like there's an awful lot of people disappointed for me, but I was chilling and I was having a good time. And I feel like it was great to see the girls on the big stage. They deserve that. Of course, it would have been nice to be involved, but I just feel like Leanne wasn't ready to go to that one. I feel like I'll be ready for the next one. Um, and yeah, I guess disappointment, of course, you're going to be disappointed you're like missing out on a major tournament. But then I had a really nice summer with my family, which maybe I don't get. I've left maybe six, seven years ago and I haven't been home for a long time. So I cherish them moments. Like you don't get five, six weeks with your family very often. And it's very important for me to be around good people. So I really enjoyed it. It was back to baby for the, the Yeah, yeah, back. I was back, um, back working actually. When I'm home, I work. So yeah, it's good. Yeah. Is, is that a farm or? Just a farm, yeah. Farm, yeah. Potter about, yeah. yeah. But no, it was great to see the girls on the big stage, and they done everybody proud in Ireland, and we've got a great fan base now, all over the world from watching Ireland on the big stage. But no, it's a really exciting project. This, and um, we're really looking forward. To the next few games. But was you spoken already about Manano, uh, did he sort of talk to you after that or was he getting an arm around the shoulder? Who's this? Uh, Matt, sorry. Oh. Here. Um I think he rang me and he goes, When are you coming back? <laughs> I remember I just said like I'll be back soon. Um and I came back and Yeah, it was good. I went to actually straight back into rehab and I didn't come back ankle rehab um, I didn't come back till November so I was actually out for a long time I was trying to prep myself for the World Cup I had tendon issues in my ankle deep down I probably knew that I wasn't fully ready um, so I didn't play my first 90 minutes I think till the end of October November actually from that time um, but no I knew that my club football was really important at that point I really had to keep my head down to get back on the pitch. And as I said, like, I have a great group of girls over there, so it was really good. Where do you see your role within this Ireland team now? I think the type of player that you are, you yeah. understand what managers like to use you off the pitch. Yeah. Because clearly you're capable of having an impact and your yeah. pace and your direct. But like, and naturally you'd, you'd want to start, and I'm sure you want to push for a start. Or yeah, for sure. Um, Naturally, I'd like to think that I could be the nine with Ireland. Um, I know I have a, a lot of work to do and I'll keep working hard with my club as well. And off camera, I guess, away from, away from the football pitch too. So, no, I'm really looking forward to it. And I feel like it's a really exciting project here with ILO. I feel like I'm, I'm good enough to be part of this team and it's a really exciting project. It's, I remember... Ferguson back in the day would talk about Solskjaer you would often use him off the bench yeah. how intelligent he was because he yeah. watched the game very closely so he would sort of yeah. weaknesses in the opposition team like, he you been used off the bench quite a lot to club and country have you found yourself looking at the game in a different way have you do, do you think you've matured in that sense and that so when you come on you're ready to really make an impact in I guess for the last few games I knew that I wasn't they were building up my minutes a lot in club, so they didn't want to throw me into 90 minutes. So I knew that I had 30 minutes in my tank to go flat out. And of course you see the game different and you're coming on to a game where defenders are naturally tireder than the start of the game. So there's more room for error, which is quite nice. <laughs> but um, obviously the end goal is to start the game. Everybody wants to start a game. And then... Um, I guess, just enjoy it. Like, I feel like once I'm being a part of this squad, I'm really enjoying it. And I feel like that's the most important thing for me right now. Everything else will come into place. I know it. I know I work hard enough and everything else. So I feel like it'll all turn into place. I just need to, to focus on the way things right now. Just finally for me, Leanne, and I know we ask you this, we ask this a zillion times, we say to all the players, but just playing out of the, at the Aviva, um, 
it is a special yeah. thing for players. I'm sure it's great that it's kind of becoming yeah. the norm now. Is it still a sort of goosebump moment when you get to walk out and stay and see 30, 40,000? Yeah. Do you know, I've only played at the Viva twice ever. Shelburne, yeah. 2016 final, and the other day against England. So, um, that was amazing. It's um, it's big, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I remember I couldn't spot my family in the crowd, and usually I can spot them before the game. But no, it's, it's a brilliant, it's a brilliant achievement. Listen, everybody, staff, players, and everything deserve this. They've done great over the last few years, putting Ireland on the map, and it's just great to see that all the fans are out there supporting us, and that there's no reason why we can't be in Live Eva. And like even at home, I arrived home there being like, oh, Leanne, we must get tickets, like we're coming up to see you. Which like, I'm from a town where it's very Gaelic oriented, which is nice to see that they're all wanting to come and watch the football. Yeah. It's been good. Just obviously, um, we're coming into this in such good form. Do you think maybe a goal in this camp might, you know, propel you then into a start place or a regular start place so you can maybe make it um, an impact to you? Yeah, for sure. Um, as a nine, that's my job, I to score goals. So I'm hoping, listen, I have to have a good week training. I know that's the number one. I take it day by day here, everywhere actually in life. Um, yeah, take it day by day, get through the week, um, fully fit. And we go from there. I feel like I'm in good form right now. Um, and I believe in myself in front of goal. So... We shall see. <laughs> how, how is it like transferring, I suppose, the club form over to the international? There's different styles of players. Well, how's that for you when you're coming in and when you're thinking about it? Yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like club, I guess we're training with each other day in, day out, and there's very, very high standards there. Like if you mess up one pass, they're on your back thinking, this isn't good enough, you can't mess up. Like you need to be ready for the next one, the next one, the next one. Of course, there's room for error, but it's a very high tempo. And then I come in here and it's more like, you've done all your fitness and that in club. Now it's time to like learn how we're going to play and set up this week. As we know, we only have four or five days training with Ilo and that. So it's a lot of tactical and I guess trying to get to know each other again. Because we were out for maybe two or three months and back in again. So I feel like it's very different in that sense. It's a lot more tactical. We play very different than we do at club. And I guess it's kind of switching your mindset in, now this is my role. It's different than club. But that's good. Different than change is nice. Like, um, I feel like it's nice that I get a taste of both. It's really nice to be in with all the girls. We have a lot of girls playing at top teams. Um, and the crack's always great, which is really important. I feel like playing abroad, you don't see many Irish people a lot. So it's nice coming in and being a part of them again. The slagging and everything, it feels like, um, <laughs> It feels great. I was only in the door two minutes and Amber Barrett was on my case. So, <laughs> no, it's good for sure.